So just like the demand curve, we can read the demand curve horizontally and vertically. We can do the exact same for the supply curve. One way to read the supply curve is to read it horizontally, which tells us at any price, $15, how many suppliers are willing to provide the good or service. At a price of $15, one person is willing to cut the lawn or provide the lawn cutting service. If price is 25, then two persons are happy to cut the lawn and so on. So we can read the deep supply curve horizontally. Similarly, we can also read it vertically. So between zero and one, uh, the height of the supply curve is $10, which is Jack's cost of cutting the lawn. Remember, Jack was the first in line on Black Friday. He got his grass cutter for 10 bucks. And the height of the supply curve between one and two is $20 which is Janet's cost of grass cutter. And the height of the supply curve between two and three uh, is Chris's cost um, of the grass cutter. So reading the supply curve vertically tell us the cost of production for different um, service providers or suppliers.